Welcome back to a new video Tuesday. Yaya Chow here, and today we're gonna get some scenery during this video because how can you not show off a beautiful snowy afternoon in Finland? Today I want to talk about five British English words I learned from Finns in Finland. I learned new English words. So I wanted to share those today because I would have never known about them unless I came here. I didn't even come to England and I learned some new British words. Of course, I'm familiar with some British English as we all watch it on television. We love the British accents and hearing the new words like exquisite or cup of tea. So, as you can guess, I only have Finland to go off of, but it seems like rightfully so, that some speakers of other languages learn the British English, which is awesome and good and well. And shout out to you if you're learning English, shout out to you if you're learning any language, that's awesome. And you know, American English is sometimes a little different. So some of the words I learned are lorry, which is a truck in American English, and lorry in British English. <laughs> I never knew what this word was, never heard of it, until I came here and someone was talking about a truck, like a semi-truck. Another word that I was unfamiliar with until I came here was a Q. Q-U, Q-U, E-U, wait, Q-U-E-U-E, yes. Of course, you know, on Spotify, shout out to Spotify, you can put songs in your queue. And I'm like, okay, I'm just putting them in my queue, I don't know what that means. But a queue is a line, like a line you stand in, in American English. So another British word that I learned that a Finnish person said was a biscuit. Of course, in America, when you say biscuit, you think of this. A biscuit, Chick-fil-A biscuit, you know what I'm saying? But a biscuit in British English, and also now Finnish English, is a cookie. So if you ask, do you want a biscuit with your tea or coffee? Expect a cookie and not an actual biscuit. I'm not sure if this is specifically British, but it's a little different than, you know, it's a little different than in America. So I don't know if it's British English or just, you know, English as a second language English. But I notice that when you ask someone, how are they? They might say, I'm fine or I'm okay. Instead of like, I'm well, I'm good, you know? And usually I'm fine or I'm okay kind of means like I'm not doing that well to Americans. So someone might say, okay, why are you just fine? Why are you just okay? And then another variation of English and British English that Finnish speakers use and probably other speakers of other languages use when they're speaking English. Anyways, that was long. Is holiday. When I say holiday as an American, I think of Christmas, New Year's. Easter, those are holidays, the day you celebrate a holiday, a recognized national holiday. But in British English, holiday means a vacation. So, I'm going on holiday for five days, means, is what British English speakers would say, instead of I'm going on vacation for five days. So there's a little bit difference there too. Now the other word that is a little different and that I've learned from Finnish speakers, is toilet, instead of bathroom. One day I was in a Finnish school and I was asking where the bathroom was and she was really confused. She was saying, where's the bathroom? And she was like, I don't, bathroom? What do you mean bathroom? I'm like, like restroom? And then I was like, never mind, I think it's down here. She's like, oh, toilet. I'm like, yes, exactly, toilet. I know what a toilet is, but I wouldn't necessarily say I gotta go to, the, I have to go to the toilet or where's the toilet, you know? But anyways, the any way that you've learned English is awesome. Congrats for even trying to learn it or have accomplished learning it. This is just a video to share some of the differences I've noticed between American English and British English through being in Finland. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. Keep being great, keep studying, keep doing whatever you're doing. And let me know if there's any words from British and American English that you get mixed up. See you next time. Thank you.